Welcome to the first tutorials on NIDA. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the entire process of building and running your first linear model. The rationale behind this exercise is benchmarking. This means that we'll be comparing the results of your model to the results of a benchmark example. In this video, we have also included a troubleshooting sections for you in case your model did not work as planned. For this tutorial, I have selected the leaning column frame for its structural simplicity. This tests the breakdown of the tutorial. The first stage is the setup of the scene, such as the metric system. The second stage is the creation of the model, such as the nodes, the members, or the sections. The third stage is the adding of the loads. The fourth stage is the setting up of a case to run, such as the serviceability load case. The fifth stage is troubleshoots for those who has problems with their models. The sixth stage is the producing of the outputs such as showing many moments diagrams visually on a screen. The seventh stage is exporting the results to spreadsheets such as Microsoft Excel for further data manipulations such as simple capacity checks for simple member design. Let us begin by opening NIDA. First is to create a new project. Leaning column frame. Force in kilonewton, length in meter. The first stage we go to analysis, analysis and design parameters settings. First we check to make sure that we are using the right code for our region. In my case, we used Hong Kong Steel code. We also need to set 3D environments or 2D environments for our model. In our case, it's a 2D. So, we set it as XY plane, click it, apply. Our next step is the creation of the model. To do that, to construct new nodes. We refer to our earlier diagram on the leaning column portal. So, insert 6 meters. You see a note is being formed. 6 plus 6, 12 meters. Apply. Now we can see another note. <coughs> um, 4 meters up. 6 meters back and 0 and here is our 6 notes so our next stage we create our new members before we create our new members we need to set the right materials 
and the right frame sections. To do that, right click or if you prefer, you can also click at sections under the properties windows on the right. Imports. Pick the I or H sections category. When you click apply, it will be added under the frame sections on the right. So you can distinguish our new sections. Apply. So you can see our new green sections have been added. So our next stage is to add our column sections. So we use the same procedure. Apply. So now you can see your purple section. So we add our beam first by clicking on the original notes now we do the same to our columns right click to cancel cancel we can now use extrude view this rotate button left click and drag and we will be able to inspect our model click that button to reset the view our next stage is to add loadings hit assign now the loads, join loads, we have one join loads on the left of our frame, which is 11 kN. Select the nodes which we want to apply our loads to, we hit 15, apply, close. Set the visibility of the loadings on first before the input of the loadings. Select all. Apply. We can now see that we have added our point loads, which should be 11. We will now proceed to add the remaining loads onto our structure. Hold Control key on the keyboard to select both notes. No loads, join loads. Minus 200, 600 for the loads in the middle. For the UDL on the beam, we hold control to select both beams. We change the load types category to UDL. We set it to minus 100. In some cases, like the wind uplift, we pick plus 100 for the acting upwards. Apply. Now concludes the low adding procedure. Our next stage is to add boundary conditions onto our structure. 
As you can see, we have two pins and one fixed support. We should first click this button to show the boundary conditions. Select both nodes and then we click Assign Nodes Boundary Conditions Pins Apply a pin is being formed on the bottom of the column. As for this column, we will follow the same procedure, except that is fixed. So now we have reached the final stage. Before we can obtain our outputs and results, so, to run analysis, run, it seems that we have forgotten package and loadings into an analysis case. Hence, the warnings. We go to analysis, sets, analysis, case, add linear analysis for the name. Gravity load scenario apply load. We select our load cases on the left panel and move it to the load applied panel on the right. Now the program is set to run our case. It seems that our system is stable under the gravity load scenario. Sometimes your model has errors. Window will show the system is singular. That means there might be a problem with your model. Like a mechanism in your structure is being detected. The reason of that can be you have set your model environments to 3D so your structure will topple over on the set axis it can also be due to a double pin like this one here assuming that your structural model is stable the program now allows you several utilities to display your results. If you wish to display your results by diagrams, click the button on the top bar. This will show the diagram window. Select the desired checkbox to show the corresponding diagrams. These are the samples of the diagrams I produced with the model. To display the deflection shapes of the model, click this button. To amplify the scale of the deflection for clarity, click the yellow ruler button. Crank up the numbers for delta and angle now to export the results to a spreadsheet click the button with this icon first select the analysis case then at the item panel below, check the item that you wish to be included in your reports. Click Exports. A Excel spreadsheet is now ready for our viewing. Let's take a look of that spreadsheet. Go to the tab Members and Internal Force. The results are tabulated in this Ascending members numbers, axial force, moments, shear, and 
section capacity factor. Let's take a look at the reactions. The results are tabulated in ascending node number. And here is the column for vertical reactions. This one is for horizontal reactions. Alternatively, to show results on NIDA, go to the top bar, click this button, hit apply. On a side note, to show notes and members numbers, click this button and select the highlighted checkbox. We have reached the end of the tutorial. We hope you enjoyed building your first model on NIDA. Please stay tuned on the following address for more information. To keep track of all the latest updates on NIDA, please find us on Facebook slash NIDA Broadcast.